The Holy Land Ma6 is a very compact and very lightweight wireless video transmitter. It only costs $179 and they claim the working range is up to 300 feet which is around 90 meter and the building battery can last an hour and also they said the latency is only 70 milliseconds. So let's find out the truth about Ma6 in this video and talk about whether you need it or not. Kia ora, good morning everyone, which one here, welcome back to the channel. You may have watched my video about the Holy Land Mars 400S and I talk about how I use the Holy Land Mars 400S to help me when I'm making my YouTube video, how it helped me improve the quality and also help me save a lot of time. Recently, Holy Land has released another new product and they have sent me a sample, which is the one I'm holding right now. This is the Holy Land Mars X. This is another wireless video transmitter. Compared to the 400S, this Mars X is a lot lighter, a lot smaller, the price is a lot more affordable, and it is more targeting the uh, entry model consumer market, while the 400S is targeting, I think, somewhere between the consumer and professional market. If you don't really know what is a wireless video transmitter or why do you need it, let me do a quick explanation. A wireless video transmitter like this Mars X is pretty much like what the name suggested. It is a transmitter that can transmit the video signal usually from your camera to a receiver um, wirelessly without having to use a normal HDMI cable. So how you use it um, like this Mars X is very easy. It has a built-in battery so you don't even need to plug in external batteries So make sure you charge the battery first using the USB-C port here and then you can attach it to your camera there are two different mounting holes here there's one at the bottom here and then there's one that is what I'm using to attach the mounting bracket here usually you could just attach it to the hot shoe mount here or if you use a cage you can attach to a similar uh, mounting position on the cage as well and then you just need an HDMI cable so uh, you plug in one end to your camera's HDMI port and then the other side you just plug it onto the transmitter here and that's pretty much all you need to do in terms of connecting the hardware and next just press the button here to turn on and once you turn on you can see that there's a little OLED screen at the front that would turn on and show you um, not too much information compared to the Mars 400S which can display a lot more information this one is a lot more simple you can only see the battery and also the HDMI connection whether it is active or not and another thing you probably should do is to pull the antenna up so that it's extended to increase the range of the transmission and then the next thing is just to receive the video signal with the Mars X, the biggest difference compared to this one with the 400S or the other Holy Land video transmitter is that this one, it doesn't come with a receiver or I should say it doesn't have a receiver. To receive the image, you will need your smartphone or a tablet. It supports both Android or iOS. So just go and download the Holy View app from the App Store that on the platform that you are using, install it and then after you turn on the transmitter from your smartphone, you can choose the Wi-Fi to connect to. It's usually the one that starts with the HLD, HLD something and that's the one that is transmitting from the Holy Land device and once you connect it then you can just launch the app then you should be able to see the image transmit from your camera pretty much in real time the holy view app is not just a viewer there are many features available on the app for example you can turn on a different kind of uh, visual assist you can turn on peaking false color zebra all those different kind of overlay on top that help you to make sure the image that you're capturing is good quality you can also use it to capture video including audio onto your smart device 
In this video, I'm not going to go through all the features that's available on the Holy View app because there are quite a few different features, but most of them are pretty straightforward, pretty easy to use. So if you spend a few minutes, you should be able to figure out um, how to use most of the feature yourself. If you have any questions about some of the features, feel free to drop a comment below. I will try to answer all your questions. But as I have just mentioned before, the Mars X, it doesn't come with any receiver or you cannot buy any receiver. So you cannot just output it onto a bigger monitor unlike the 400S or the other Holyview products. Having said that, I do have a workaround. It may not work for everyone, but for those of you that has a later model smartphone, for example, like me, I'm using a late model Huawei smartphone. I'm using the P40 Pro. What I can do is that I can get a USB to HDMI converter cable so that I can plug in um, the USB port onto the smartphone and then the other side I can then connect it to a monitor. So this will allow me to also output the video signal onto a bigger screen and the quality is also pretty decent as well but if you compare it with say the output from a 400s output from the 400s is a bit higher quality and also higher resolution if you compare it to the output that i output from my smartphone onto a monitor using a cable like this but anyway, this is just a workaround and it will only work if your smartphone or the tablet supports the USB to HDMI output feature. So why would you want to use a wireless video transmitter like this Mars X? Well, I think there are a couple of main reasons. First, if you normally shooting video all alone by yourself, uh, sometimes, for example, if you are shooting with a gimbal, your camera may not be placed in the position that you can easily check the screen. Then you can use a wireless video transmitter like this Mars X to transmit the video footage from your camera and then you can attach your smartphone or tablet onto the other side of the gimbal. Then that will allow you to view the image a lot easier. Or if you are working with a team, you may have other videographer or you may have other people that can help you check the image. Then you can use the video transmitter to transmit the picture from your camera or maybe from everyone's camera back to the person that can overview everyone's screen. Then that person can monitor and check the footage from all the different cameras. But these are just some really quick examples on why you may want to use a wireless video transmitter. There are many, many other reasons why you may want one and how it could help you to improve your workflow. There are three key specs about this Holyland Mars X that I'm quite curious about. The first one is the range. So Holyland camps, the range for this Mars X is up to 300 feet. And that is with the direct line of sight. So 300 feet is about 90 meter. So that seems pretty impressive for a little transmitter like this that only rely on these two um, foldable antenna. So I went out and I want to do a test myself to see how true it is. One very important thing to remember is that the working range really depends on a lot of different factors. For example, whether you are using it outdoor or indoor, and if you're using it indoor, what kind of uh, indoor environment is it? Is it a concrete? kind of building or what kind of building it is and if you're using it outdoor even the weather condition may have some impact on the maximum working range but anyway i went to a local park and um, it's a pretty open area so that's probably good place to test the theoretical maximum range the direct line of sight range so i place my camera on the tripod with the transmitter attached and then i start walking away so i was holding two different phones one is connected to the mask so that i can check the image in real time to see whether the image is still transmitting successfully to my phone or not. And then the other one, I turn on the GPS location tracking so that I can see what is the distance that I have walked from the camera. It may not be super accurate, but it should be accurate up to about five to 10 meter range. I was walking pretty much in a straight line with nothing between me and the camera. And in the end, I walked to about 180. 80 meters away from the camera which is pretty much double the cramped distance 
that um, Holy Land tell us, which is 300 feet, that is 90 meter. So I walk 180 meter away and I can still receive the signal, I can still receive the picture from the camera pretty much flawlessly. And when I was walking away from the camera, there were only once that there was a bit of glitch in the signal that I received on my smartphone. That was when I was about 40, 50 meters away from the camera and I was just turning around and that caused a little glitch in the video I received. But after that, I continue to walk and I can walk all the way to around 180 meters and I can still receive the image no problem at all. And by the time I was 180 meters away from the camera, I was already on the other side of the park. I really wasn't expecting I can walk so far away. So at that time, I stopped the test. Maybe I could still walk a little bit further away and still can receive the signal. Maybe I can walk till 200 meters. I don't really know. But 180 meters from a cramped 90 meter walking distance is definitely pretty impressive. The second thing I want to check is the building battery's runtime. Holy Lamb claims the building 1300mAh battery can last around 1 hour. So I did a test, fully charge up the battery and then see how long it will go. I attached the MASX to my GH5 and then turn it on. And in the end, after almost exactly 2 hours, the battery on my GH5 actually is the first one to die. So uh, before the GH5 died, the Mars X was still transmitting the signal to my smartphone, as you can see in the footage. So um, after two hours, the GH5 battery died first. At that time, the Mars X battery, I think, is pretty much about to die because it has been blinking for a while. But before the GH5 shut down after two hours, the Mars X was still transmitting signal to my smartphone. And once again, I'm not sure whether Holland did it on purpose or not. My test result pretty much doubled the cramped figure from Holland. And the last fact that I'm also quite curious and want to test it myself is about the latency. Holy Land claim the latency of the Mars X is only 70 milliseconds, which is very, very short latency. That is about two frames if you are shooting in um, 25 frames per second. And what latency means is just a delay um, if you compare the signal received by the device to what is received on the other end when the receiver see it. To test this one is a little bit more tricky because pretty much everything, um, all the camera, all the monitor, they all have a bit of latency. So what I mean is if you directly connect an external monitor onto your camera using just the HDMI cable, you would also notice that what you see on the external monitor screen is a little bit slower than what you see on the camera's built-in LCD screen and that's because the HDMI output of the camera also has a little bit of latency. So to test the latency, a lot of people would use a HDMI splitter so they split the output and one just directly feed it to a monitor and then other one would feed to the transmitter so that they can compare the receiver's image to the external monitor that is directly attached connected to the monitor just using the HDMI cable. But unfortunately, I do not have a HDMI splitter. So what I did is I repeat the same test two times. The first time I just directly connect the external monitor to the camera using HDMI cable. And then I record the footage of the screen on the camera and also the external monitors so that I can see the delay between the image I saw on the camera's monitor and the external monitor. And then I repeat the same test, but this time I connect it to the Mars X and then I also record the image, uh, that side-by-side -side image of the camera's monitor screen with the receiver, which is my smartphone, so that I can also see the latency in the second case, how big it is. And then I compare the latency in the first test with the second test. And then that should in theory tell me what is the latency that is introduced by the Mars X. So by doing this set of comparison tests, I find out the latency of the Mars X is around 67 milliseconds, which is very similar to the cramped 70 millisecond by Holy Land. 
So after doing all this free set of tests, I have to say I am very impressed by this Mars X. Holy Land didn't like all the specs that they claim, the working distance, the battery runtime and latency. Compared to my test result, my test result actually shows the actual uh, performance is much better than what they claim. So they didn't like, not only didn't like, they seem to also undercoat the performance quite a bit. So that is a very good news because that gives me a lot of confidence about Holy Land because I know that whatever figure that they tell me, in reality, I should be able to get at least the same kind of performance, if not better. After using this Holy Land Mars X over the last three weeks or so, I think there are three things that I really like about this Mars X. The first thing is simplicity. It's such a small compact device that you can easily fit into your pocket. The only thing you need to bring is the Mars X and the HDMI cable and that's all you need to bring. You don't need to bring external battery, you don't have to bring the charger for your external battery, you don't have to bring a receiver, nothing like that. Just bring this, plug in the HDMI cable, start up your camera and then connect to it from your smartphone. And that's it, you can already start previewing your screen from your external device and you can still enable picking Zebra and all those visual assist tools on top or you can also record the footage from externally. So there are many things that you can do from the Holy View app and that's all you need to do. It's very simple and this thing is so small you can easily fit into your pocket, fit it into the side pocket of the camera bag. That's all you need to do and you can just charge it by USB port which you probably would have a USB cable with you anyway. So I just love how simple this setup is. And the second thing I really like is the price. The price is only $179 and that's all you need to pay if you want to um, have the video signal that you can see on an external remote device wirelessly. You don't need to buy any external battery because it already comes with the building battery. It comes with the USB charging cable. The only thing you need to buy is the HDMI cable that if you don't already have one. And that's it. So the price is definitely very affordable. And the third thing I like is the reliability. I think this is actually the most important thing because it doesn't matter how simple the device is, it doesn't matter how cheap it is. If it's not reliable, if it's not working when you want it to work, then it doesn't really matter. And fortunately with the Mars X, it's very affordable, it's very simple to set up and it's also very reliable. The connection from the transmitter to the smartphone seems very easy to set up. I have no problem connecting to it at all. And once your smart device is connected to the Mars X, then everything works as reliable as you want. There is very minimal amount of dropout. Um, the picture quality seems very good. The app itself is very reliable. I don't really have much problem at all. And even when I was doing the distance test, when I walk uh, from next to the camera all the way 180 meter away. That was a very long distance and I only had one little glitch um, during the whole walking distance and that was when I was turning um, around and maybe that just caused some signal glitches but that's only one um, glitch when I was walking that long long distance. So overall the reliability of this Mars X is as good as the 400S which many people would know is a very reliable product. So I guess up to this point of this video, you may find that I actually haven't complained too much about this Mars X at all. Actually, I don't know whether I've complained anything about this Mars X at all. Is it because they sent me a sample so that I don't complain anything about it? Definitely not. If you have watched my other review, you know that a lot of time people send me the sample. I still talk about the good and bad thing about pretty much every product. It's just that with this Mars X, there really isn't much that I can complain about. If I really have to complain, I would say um, the amount of feature is a bit limited compared to the uh, more advanced, the more expensive model. 
for example, there's only one HDMI in port. So uh, unlike the other higher model, you may have multiple input port. There's only one and the display at the front is quite clear, but there's not much information displayed here. The Mask X cannot work with other receiver, but having said that, if you want, you can have multiple uh, smartphone or tablet all connect to the Mask X at the same time so that you can actually have multiple people or multiple devices viewing the signal in real time. That is definitely doable, but you just cannot buy a receiver and then, for example, output the video signal to a video recorder. So if you want any of the more advanced feature, you pretty much have to buy another uh, higher model system for you to get some of those more advanced features. But yeah, that is pretty much the only downside that I can think of about this Mars X. I would say even if you already have a more high-end, more professional video transmitter like the 400S or even higher model, a small transmitter like this Mars X is still very attractive option. Like for example, sometimes I have to um, go to another place to do some job. Um, maybe just domestic, I just go to another city. Sometimes I don't really know whether I need to use a wireless video transmitter or not when I'm doing the job. So if I am to bring my 400S, then I have to bring the transmitter, I have to bring the receiver, I have to bring um, two battery or more battery and uh, battery charger, etc. So that is quite a lot of gear I need to bring for something that I may not even need to use. and. When flying domestic, normally I just carry one bag, that's it. So I would try to minimize the gear that I want to bring. So that means I probably wouldn't bring a transmitter like the 400S. While with something like the Mars 6, it's so small. So if I charge up the battery, I can just put it onto one side of my camera bag and don't really worry about it. If I need to use it, great, I can use it. If I don't want, it doesn't really matter because it's not taking up much space or weight at all. So yeah, I can see that the Mars X is a very attractive uh, option for many different type of user. No matter you are a professional videographer or you are someone who is just looking at buying your first wireless video transmitter.